Welcome back, everyone. Hobbiton Piper Kevin here, coming to you from the heartland of America in Missouri. I'm going to tell you a pipe story today about this Perinelli Sardinian Briar pipe. The Orioles are gone. They won't be back until next year. They don't stay very long. Just a few weeks. I'm smoking some Esoterica and Soda Bed. We did a review on that recently, if you'd like to check it out. It's a really good English with some faint fruity notes that I try to explain what I'm experiencing as I smoke this. So this story begins at a flea market. Now, if you've never heard of a flea market, it's kind of like an outdoor bazaar normally. Usually it's like a street market that various vendors can sell their previously owned merchandise in allocated areas. Well, in this particular case, it was an indoor flea market, meaning it was a building owned by someone that facilitated this type of place for people to set up areas within it to sell their previously owned merchandise. And I'm walking through that flea market building and I'm always looking for little, little pipe jewels that might be hidden. And I saw one. It's kind of tucked behind a couple of things in one of the bins where someone was displaying their merchandise. And it looked really beautiful. So I asked the man from behind the counter to come and unlock this particular case that had these items in it. And I asked if he could show me this pipe. He began to tell me how he got this pipe because this was actually one that he was selling from his particular area of the store. And he said he had bought it at an auction, which I assume means it was several things up for sale. People bid on it and he won the bid. He had cleaned it up and he was trying to turn it for a profit. So he told me how much he wanted for it, which seemed like a very reasonable price, honestly, although I don't have any idea what this might've cost new. But I decided to go home and think about it. I don't normally like to haggle for prices. Sometimes I will if I know that they're grossly overpriced, but in this case, I thought it sounded really fair. It was only like 20 bucks more than I usually spend on a basket pipe. So I was like, this seems really fair. I told you in my uh, pipe story about my Savinelli 673KS, how sometimes pipes will talk to me. Not with words, but just with a connection, with a, a way of them telling me that I need to take them home. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say necessarily this one talked to me, but it definitely haunted me at night. <laughs> <laughs> because I'd be laying in bed just thinking about this pipe and wasn't going to be there the next time I walked into this local flea market store. So, I went back and I told him I think I'd like to buy this pipe. He was very happy because he knew I was someone that would actually appreciate it. 
and enjoy it and get some really good use out of it. Now this is the part of the story where maybe the story isn't over because all I know about this is that it is made by the Perinelli family and I believe they have been doing this for generations. And the briar they use is normally cultivated, I think, in two of the top geographical areas of Italy. Um, Calabria, I think, is one, and then Sardinia is the other. And this one says Sardinian briar on it. But I don't know um, if, there's a, if this is a particular named pipe or if it's, um, you know, a certain model number. I, I don't know. Maybe you do. If you do, please tell me in the comments and eventually I may add that to the description. Um, but it's really beautiful. It smokes really well. It's got a beautiful stem on it. It's like a creamsicle stem on it. So the story of this pipe may not be over. Maybe you know more about this pipe. Maybe you can tell me um, if you think it's a good one or not. But I really like it. I hope that sometime soon you can get out and enjoy the outdoors maybe for a little bit. Part of that hobbit life that I talk about that I like is, is grilling good food. Maybe go out and grill some food and and uh, maybe tell some stories among friends maybe you like to go fishing maybe you like to sit down with a good book if you like any of these types of things good pipe good drink there's some hobbit life in you also these are some of my favorite videos because i just get to sit down and talk relax and I hope you get to sit down and relax when you watch these as well. So glad you're here. Hope you'll be back next time. We'll see you again soon.